Hello people, Wybot here. Um, mate, this is my first time with this microphone. Forgive the gameplay here, I can't, I haven't got it set up properly, so bear with me. It's a bit noobish, bit amateurish. But uh, I thought I'd give this mic a go and tell me what you think. This is uh, Halo Big Team Infinity Slayer. And I'm on the blue team. And a lot of people ask me, well, but what did you do for Valentine's Day? And I'll tell you what I did for Valentine's Day. Ganged up a whole bunch of blue dudes. And we shot at a whole bunch of red dudes. Why? Well, because why not? It's a beautiful parkland. What do you want to do? Uh, well, well, well you, you jump in this big mech here. And you walk around and you start shooting dudes. So I got back in here and this is a rather big, beautiful map here. And I'm like, right, Valentine's Day, people. Valentine's Day. This is what I did for Valentine's Day. Walked around in the mech. Because, quite frankly, Valentine's Day for me is not a big deal. I really personally just can't see what the big deal is with Valentine's Day. Um, I tried to look up about the dude on Google, and I got very bored with it, and I quickly just read all it is is a dude, we don't even know if he's a saint or not, and he died on February the 14th, and I'm thinking, well, if he got popular because he died on February the 14th, well then a lot of these dudes should become saints in the years to come by, because, well, they're all dying on the 14th, or particularly myself, and I can't really see Saint Wybot being the most romantic type, as you can see, he just got blown up, because I couldn't really hear, I'm not very good with that, but anyway. Moving right along, so that's my thought on, uh, <clears throat> well, pretty much, yeah, Valentine's Day. And I know a fair bit about plants, being horticulturist and all, and I think it's a giant bloody rip-off. I don't know how much it costs to make a rose, and I don't know how much roses cost other than on Valentine's Day, and they mark up the price. Why? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, because we're running short on demand. Well, got news for you, people. They plan for it well and truly a year in advance, so there is no major demand. And, you know, I'm just sad what some people come up with for Valentine's Day. I mean, I don't know if anybody saw it, but did you see that couple getting married at Ikea? I mean, a Sydney couple getting married in Ikea? And I'm like, dude, as you can see, I got nailed there. I'm like, dude, you got married in Ikea? I mean, come on, people. Married in Ikea. What's, the, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. I know, and the voice she had, the voice was like, she, no offense, man, I'm sure there's love there, but she sounded like Pikachu. I mean, seriously, dude, you're marrying Pikachu in an Ikea store. I, when people look at me strange, you would say, why, but did you have a date? I said, I had a date with a battlefield. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think that's as weird as marrying a chick that sounds like Pikachu in Ikea. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ikea's not bad people, but marrying somebody in Ikea? I like EB Games, but I'm not going to marry anybody in EB Games. I don't care how hot she is. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Valentine's Day. I think the media beats it up. We all beat it up. Hello, people. Say hello to my little friend. Look at that. Explosions. See? That's what I did. Happy Valentine's Day, people. Kaboom. So, yeah. Um, so, anyway, I'm just letting you know a bit about myself. I've been video gaming a lot of the time in my life. It's been pretty important, as, you know, growing up. I've been very fortunate uh, to experience video gaming when it first came out, I Pong, I had the Atari when I was younger, this is really showing my age, to where I am now, and I have to say I'm very fortunate because, you know, I really appreciate these games, like Halo 4, unreal, I, I really, you know, a lot of people whinge about it, a lot of people say the servers aren't the best, but at the end of the day, it's a beautiful game, it is a beautiful game, and it will improve with time, and uh, yeah, so... Most of the stuff I'll put on my YouTube channel will be of playing with other players and so forth, but the sound won't be as good. I'm trying to work that out. Maybe one day, or if you can leave a comment, show me and help me how to do it. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just running around here. I'm being shot. I don't know who I've been shot at. I'm just chilling like, what the hell, dude? Whoa, there's dudes over there. There's well, dudes over there. And, uh, oh, he's frozen. He's fried. So that's it. That's my view on Valentine's Day. Um... I'm sure some of you are romantics at heart here and there, but my advice is be romantic every day, or at least once a week, not just on another day like this, because it says, hey, oh, it, you know, where it's Valentine's Day and the many says to do it, or people like on Sunrise and all those dickheads tell you to do it, because quite frankly, you know, if you love your partner, you be romantic regardless any day, not just on the one day, and not particularly after a saint that, well, we really don't know much about, and... Yeah, from what I can gather, just died on this day. I mean, in Rome days, it could have been because he shagged somebody else's missus, you know? Uh, he could have been shagging heaps of women, and that's probably why he's a saint of romance. Yeah, right, whatever, pal. You know, like, being a slut, is that romantic? You tell me. I've never met a romantic slut. Uh, I've met many sluts in my life. Hell, I'm a slut when it comes to video games, but yeah, there you go. As you can see, uh, I can't really hear the game audio, but I'm doing all right. And, uh, yeah, my team's probably carrying me 
as it says down there towards the uh, bottom right, says we're winning. Not by much, but we're doing all right. There we go. Pray for him. This helps a bit. This guy in a jetpack. I hate people in jetpacks. Why? Because they're too lazy to walk. Oh, I got an assist. So I'm not going to do very well in this game. It's a warm-up game. It's early Saturday morning. Uh, it's a few days after Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, I've just got this new mic and I'm testing it out. So I'm going to post it up there. I'm going to want people to give me comments, uh, subscribe or likes or whatever on my YouTube page. Uh, but, yeah, just tell me what you think. And look at this dude. He, he is just literally flying in the air. He's doing well. Um, we'll have other YouTube videos up of really good uh, players from Gears of War. whole bunch of mates on there. Some of us are looking forward to Judgment. Some of us aren't. Uh, I've got mixed reviews about it, yes. I think they make it a bit cottish, you know, because more and more people play it. And in my view, I don't want more and more people playing it. The reason Gears is good because it's exclusive like this one to the Xbox 360. And, you know, look at that. I'm getting a few kills now. I'm getting warmed up, people. I'm getting warmed up. I'm getting warmed up. I'm like, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, pal. Look at this. You killed my buddy. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. Look at shooting me. Oh, walk out. I'm outnumbered. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump around like a clown. Jump around and I get nailed. Um, so yeah, you can, just beauty about this map, Ragnarok, it's, uh, beautiful, it's got plenty of rocks, I can jump in the air, shoot this dude, and he's down, my mate did a good job, go for the creeks, go a bit of fishing here, um, this is a campsite or a bushwalk you don't want to go through, if you live in Sydney or New South Wales, our national parks are going to allow shooting in it, this is possibly what it could look like, um, yeah, they're allowed to shoot feral animals, our, our, wall, crikey's, Frame a grenade, and they didn't even stick. This is what our future, uh, yeah, they could look like. Our past could look like, very much so. Um, it goes on for a while. It's first to get to a thousand. A thousand down the bottom there, as you can see, the red and the blue. As you can see, a lot of us are running around like clowns shooting. Oh, got an assist there. Look at that mech. That's huge. I'm thinking, what the hell? What are you going to do, Wybot? I'm just going to scream. Mech, mech, everybody run. But I'm going to throw a grenade on it, and I miss. And I'm going to throw another grenade. And, oh, it's on his crutch. It blew up. I shot him in the ass. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, shot him in the ass. And I'm still shooting him. If I, oh, oh, look at that. It stomped at me. Somebody take him out. Somebody take him out. Get in there, pal, and the ghost. Take him out. I'm shooting it. I'm shooting it. Oh, look at that. Kaboom. See, our team are doing well. And it's not because of me. It's probably because, well, you know, they're like me. They're like, why not? You know, we're not romantic as well. We're pissed off. And these people we're playing against... They're probably a bunch of romantics saying, no, Valentine's Day is great, guys. you got it mixed up. We're like, no, we don't, dude. You're the one who's got it mixed up. Valentine's Day is for Hallmark and for Rip Off Florist. You know? That's it. Look at that. Oh! Taken out. I've got a double kill. Um, what else can I talk about? Not a lot, people. Not a lot. Uh, also, an exciting time, if people don't realize, R18 video games. We have R18 ratings now on video games in Australia. We're well behind the times in that department. Uh, I feel very strongly about that. I don't like the fact that you know, certain government and people tell us what video games I can and can't play when I'm an adult. Some of you know me personally wouldn't say I'm an adult. I don't carry on like one, but my age and my license says I'm an adult. So that basically means you know, I'm a oh, shot to the head with a sniper uh, that I am an adult. So, yes, that's big news for all us gamers. And one of the first R18 games to come out in Australia on the PS3 is God of War, as far as I know. The Wii U actually has an R18 game coming out. Uh, but also, Mortal Kombat is making a comeback for the Xbox 360 people. Fantastic. Very good news. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's an important thing. Uh I think it's very good. R18 games getting rated makes it easy for parents to work out. Um, also, you know, if you are a parent, you do see this page. When it says M15 Plus, do follow that. Seriously, the amount of people when I play Black Ops 2, the amount of 12 year olds, hey, I even had it playing against an 8 year old on Gears of War 3. I mean, seriously, kids, you, know, you shouldn't be playing that game. One, you're better than me. Two, you annoy the crap out of me. And three, parents, what are you doing letting your kids play a game like that? I mean, seriously, if you ever know what Gears of War 3, look it up. It's not really great for kids. It's it's pretty violent. I love it, but it's violent. And there's a lot of stuff in there. You know, you can rip people's arms off. You can play things. They're, they're swearing. And these kids are swearing on there. They've got attitude. And like, you know, yeah, they might be better than you. I don't care, but they shouldn't be playing it. And, ooh, I got done. I got a protector there. So anyway, um, I'm trying to talk and fill this up. This is the test on this mic. And load it up later on. We'll see how it goes. This dude's probably bipping a horn for somebody getting the, the, the car and drive it. But this is some of the stuff I get up to. And hopefully I'll work out the audio so you can hear the gameplay. As well as me just jabbering on there. 
But uh, yeah, we look like we might actually win this match. I don't know. It's pretty close. Zoom in on there. Look at this. There's a rocket launching here. Oh, and I've got to reload it. But I've got a quick reload. So, see you later, pal. And I'm going to take... Oh! Jesus. Oh, I got taken out. They knew it. That was very noobish, people. Probably because I'm concentrating talking to you rather than anything else. So, yeah, back to that couple getting married in Ikea. I mean, what the hell? This is what we're coming to here in Australia. I mean, I thought that's if only happened in America or in Japan or places like that. But, no, nah, it's happening in Sydney, Australia. They met, apparently, in the Ikea store. And they got married in the Ikea store. And... Yeah, and when I heard a talk on the news, I was like, whoa, dude, that's that's pretty that's pretty sad. That's, yeah. Uh, each to their own. I'm sure it was lovely, but, you know, for your ceremony, we need a price check on aisle 10 or whatever. Uh, there's a busted chair. Could somebody uh, help out old Harold there? He can barely walk. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that, that's great. I mean, I'm sure it was great advertisement for IKEA, but really, you know, what what's going on here, man? Like, what? As an IKEA store, like seriously, as a manager, I'd be embarrassed. Say, so, why, but did you work in this store at uh, IKEA? Did you see the couple get married? Yeah, I know, man. It was pretty bad. It was pretty, pretty ordinary. I, yeah, didn't want to get into that, but yeah. Um, what else? Like I said, I love my video gaming. Um, you know, I'm not the best video game player. That's the thing. Most of these videos, I'm not aiming to be a big major YouTuber. I'm just showing the fun you can have with video gaming online with some good people that you meet and stuff like that. And we won the match. So uh, we'll look at my results at the end and I'm sure they're not fantastic. And if I'm impressed with the audio of this video, I'll upload it and I'll let you people tell me what you think. There you go. I've got 14 kills.